cosmic strings, aka nightmare strings. I'm the only one who calls them by that, but they should. That should be what they're really called. Cosmic strings are defects in space time. They are wrinkles, they are cracks, they are fissures in the fabric of the cosmos itself. All right. And if you encounter one, nightmare, instant nightmare. Trust me, trust me. You might be tempted like, ooh, cosmic string, that sounds cool. We want to go visit. Don't. Don't visit a cosmic string. Okay, it's just going to be bad. The hallmark of a cosmic string. So it's a wrinkle in space time. They're very, very long. They're formed in the very early universe. They're probably as long as the observable universe, at least itself. We don't know how many of them there are. We've never detected them, thankfully. The hallmark of them is that uh, because they're a wrinkle in space-time itself, if you try to draw a circle around one, by the time you get back to your starting point, you'll have tr- you'll notice that you've traveled less than 360 degrees. Right? Uh, like, this is this is what wrinkles in space-time do. They they alter the geometry of space-time, and geometry has to do with like lengths of circles. And so a complete circle around a cosmic string will add up to less than 360 degrees. The strings themselves, how wide they are, like they're as long as the universe, basically. How thick they are depends on the particular theory that makes them uh, about the energy scales of when they were formed. They're typically the width of an atomic nucleus, probably smaller. And they're, how should I describe this? They They don't have mass themselves. It's not like they're made of atomic nuclei strung together or some high density material strung together. It's not quite that. Instead, They are defects in space-time themselves. They're baked into space-time. But in relativity, mass leads to curvature in space-time, and curvature in space-time is also mass. Like, they're the same thing. So the tension in the strings themselves, like the very fact that they are bending space-time to such extreme degrees causes them to have mass or or appear to have mass or act like they have mass. Uh, And to give you an example of the densities we're talking about, one inch, one inch of cosmic string uh, will have the mass of something like Mount Everest. So imagine the weight of Mount Everest contained in a little one inch vibrating string. One mile of cosmic string Let's assume that my hands stretch out to a mile, uh, weighs as much as the earth or has the mass of the earth. So the entire mass of the earth is contained in just one mile of cosmic string. But there's something interesting here because they're just folds in space time. If they're static, if they're not moving, which they do, and I'll get to that in a second. If the cosmic strings aren't moving, you actually don't feel any gravitational attraction towards them. That's right. You could you could walk right by it. Wouldn't even notice. So with all that mass, all that density, just, just the way the math works out in general relativity here, you could just be like, oh, is there a cosmic string? I hardly noticed. But that's only if they're not moving. And cosmic strings, they're under so much tension in on themselves. They're pulling on themselves. They're, they're constantly vibrating and wiggling and bending. And this is where we get some really interesting interactions because sometimes a cosmic string can just wiggle, 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 and then fold in on itself and make a loop. And that loop will pinch off and the co- the rest of the cosmic string will stay. But now you've got a little loop here and the closed loop will actually start vibrating and emitting gravitational waves. And the gravitational waves pull energy out of the cosmic string and reduce its mass and make it go away. Another way that uh, cosmic strings can go away is that if they're wiggling, sometimes you can get a cusp, like a really, really, really sharp point. And this sharp point will be traveling down the cosmic string. And as it travels, it will generate gravitational waves. The gravitational waves will pull energy out of the cosmic string and, and that will reduce the mass of the cosmic string. And this wiggling and the gravitational waves is how we might actually detect a cosmic string. One way, well, let me talk about one way. If a cosmic string passes in front of a star, the light 
from that star will get bent because it can't go down the string. It can't cut through the string and it's bending space time. So some light will go this way and some light will go this way. And so what we'll see is a split image of that star. And we've been doing that. We've been looking for like split images of galaxies or the cosmic microwave background. We can't find anything. So it could just be unlucky. Like, oh, no cosmic strings have lined up with our line of sight. Uh, another way that we could see cosmic strings more generally is through their gravitational waves. If there's a bunch of, gra bunch of cosmic strings in the universe and a bunch of loops and a bunch of cusps and all this, and they're all wiggling all the time, they'll just wash the universe in gravitational waves that we might be able to detect. We haven't detected any through the gravitational wave experiments going on right now. It could be that they're out there, but they're too low mass or, or not enough of them that we just haven't detected them yet. And if we run our gravitational wave detectors for longer or build more advanced ones, we might be able to sniff them out. So the good, but I mean, the good news is these things that are really messed up, as far as we know, if they're out there, they're incredibly rare. And so the likelihood of them, you know, slicing through the planet Earth is probably going to be pretty low. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Sutter. It's how I keep all these videos going. And you can uh, like, share, and subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Really appreciate it. And watch out for cosmic strings. Please just... I, I know the temptation is there. Trust me. Trust me. Just don't do it, man.